So I think the best thing about the education system in Indonesia is about the engagement within the students and the teachers, the relationship that they connect between them, like during the learning process, whether inside the class or outside the class. Mm -hmm. That's actually like really similar um, here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. I would totally agree. It's very common for our teachers to call their, their students anak. Yeah, same word in Indonesia. Uh, same. Yeah, so anak means right, like my child, mm -hmm. which obviously affects the way that they see their students. So I really like, I'm just amazed every single time um, about the way teachers really extend their time. They're like, literally it's like blood, sweat and tears they give to students. One will be technology, so technology in education. Right. So right. yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, so I think about the facility and ways of teaching using technology in the classroom. I think it's very important. And also the other one will be inclusive uh, facility at school to be accessed by people with disability. I wanted to see the environmental education or environment uh, climate education in the school, right? because uh, to be introduced into a different grade level. We have this almost, all, almost the same issue in Myanmar as well, access to technology, uh, equal access for accessibility to uh, students with special needs, and environmental education, I totally agree with that. Young people play a very important role in this because we can conduct research, we can run campaigns uh, to advocate, and um, we can also use social media as a tool to raise public awareness, um, to get involved in our movement. But I think that in this uh, generation, soft, soft skills like leadership, critical thinking skill, teamwork skill is also very important. What I can do is I can co conduct more workshop, campaign, to promote all this skill and the importance of this skill to the public. Yes, young people are the future. Yes. <laughs>